Welcome once again into the LAFC2 Report. I am Max Bretos, and we are thrilled to welcome in not only a good friend and an LAFC original. What are you laughing about? <laughs> it's good to see you. It's good to see you. Jordan Harvey, who is now the Assistant <laughs> Technical Director for LAFC. What does that entail? Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> well, coming off a year where I did a little bit of everything, I had the, I had the privilege and I uh, really appreciate the year of being on the field, being in the front office, being in the booth right. with you. <laughs> Um, I gravitated uh, towards the end of the year to more of the front office work and so um, it was a big uh, task uh, and I was lucky to have a lot of the responsibility. It was definitely spread out between a lot of us but it was building the LAFC2 roster and then also creating uh, opportunities for our academy players through what we call the Academy Plus which is also on the field, off the field and then uh, a lot of the camps, clinics, I have uh, my hand in those. So. A, a lot of things, the, the number of things I've done hasn't dropped, they've just kind of shifted. So still, you know, rocking the same crest and uh, proud to still be here. Being part of this club from the beginning and creating these relationships with everyone, you know, the old coaches, new coaches, the players are coming in. How has that made your job easier? Or has it something where it's been kind of seamless where people look at you as that person who's been here for the duration? Well. The relationship as a first team player is mainly just first team. Yeah. And then you, you see, uh, I mean, we, we were had the partnership with Vegas, so you saw them in passing, and then the academy is still pretty young. And so uh, it's really great, and, and what I'm really enjoying is seeing the youth coming up and the talented academy players that we have coming up through the pipeline that are now uh, kind of reaping the rewards of, of what we have here and the, uh, the resources that we're providing and, and now they're getting opportunities and breaking through. So that's really rewarding for me. Um, and I think having been a player and now moving into this side of things, I have a different perspective. And so that's what I'm trying to offer is a little bit of guidance as well as some support um, in different ways. Was this something that was on your radar when you were a player? Did you think about uh, moving to that role? I know with the relationships you've had with coaches and technical directors, um, was, that, was that something that you feel very comfortable with? Yeah, and I think, and, and Steve was actually the one that gave me a, a lot of advice and I tried to use all the resources I had, whether it's Thorington and now Marco Garces, who I'm just uh, you know, picking up everything I can from him. Uh, but Steve said, you know, it's, it's as important to understand the things you don't want to do than it is the things you want to do. So I thought uh, that perspective and kind of checking things on the list and then seeing what I'm gravitating towards. And this has been really fulfilling, really busy. Uh, it's not as physically taxing, but definitely <laughs> mentally more. And so, um, you know, all the different exciting partnerships that we have, whether it's FC Bayern or the local uh, affiliates that we have here in L.A., um, just trying to connect the dots, create relationships, and allow for our academy players and our second team to now have opportunities that I think are unique to anywhere in the nation. And you, you enjoy dealing with the kids. I saw you walk in here with them. You're kind of directing traffic. That, that has to be a kick for you as well. Well, every once in a while, they'll let me uh, get on the field and kick the ball around. So I, I Show them a thing or two. Yeah, I relive the glory days, and it's it still feels like uh, I'm trying to convince Enrique or Steve to sign me again. So there's still that. But um, Wait, can we see you maybe slip into an LAFC no, too? No, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, now I'm on the other side uh, looking at the academy players and I like getting on the field because it gives me uh, a different perspective than just kind of from the outside looking in. You, you see the nuances of the game and then it allows for uh, kind of a deeper conversation with our staff to then give opportunities, uh, provide some of these academy players um, with uh, developing opportunities with the second team or, or off the field. Um, just came back from FC Bayern where we, uh, I spent a week along with four of our academy players um, and they got the unique experience of training, uh, living in the housing that they have there on the FC Bayern uh, campus for the academy and doing the skills lab, uh, training on the pitch, doing the screenings and everything that uh, an FC Bayern academy player um, gets involved in and uh, being able to now pick the brain of uh, their academy director, their scouts, their coaches. Wow. It's been a, an awesome experience and we're just scratching, scratching the surface of what is gonna be an amazing partnership with FC Bayern. Well, specifically with Bayern Munich, you've talked about some of the highlights, but when you look into the future, what do you think that might look like as it applies to LAFC? They just breed competitiveness. And I think um, having our players, our academy players get into that culture and see it, I think it just comes back and it just trickles down. And I hope to get more academy players over there, but um, 
just in this in particular, it was just um, amazing how welcoming they were, uh, being able to just a ask probably a million questions and they were an open book and provided their resources to us. And I think it'll just continue to grow and grow. It'll show that LAFC is on the cutting edge of, of what MLS can really do. It's very cool. How about a road trip? Can I jump in there one of these days? Yeah, I road don't trip. Know. It's not necessarily Bavaria. a road trip. Yeah, we're just. <laughs> well, you'll be coaching. Yeah. I'll just be gallivanting. I'll do something. I'll do something. Uh, maybe I'll do the laundry. I don't know. Uh, I've seen you at the uh, LAC two games. It's really interesting. You're there with Marco Garces, and you're looking at the games, and now you get a chance, as you said, to see uh, that development process. What are you guys looking for? What are those things that you see when you say, "Okay, that is that's the LAFC brand that we're looking for in that player." Well, the coaching staff from the academy, Todd Saldana, uh, Jake DeClute, the uh, methodology uh, coach, they've done such a good job. And so there's just uh, so many talented players. And so with our LAFC2 team, we've leaned heavily on that. So the majority of the next pro signed players are coming from the academy. Now, on the score sheet, it, it seems like, uh, you know, it's been difficult for them, but players have already grown. You talk about Brian Moyato from game one till now, he has grown significantly and now is coming in and potentially training with the first team. So all of this where you're bringing LFC2 players, you're interchanging. I think you'll see a lot of LFC2 players playing in say the Open Cup or different competitions um, and just sprinkling them in where they, they get pushed, they come back down. Uh, there's going to be some LFC2 players that are playing say with the under 19s too. So it's just finding the level for these players so that they can grow and develop. Um, and it's been really fun constructing this roster, like you said, with Marco Garces um, and obviously Enrique, um, the coach. And uh, it's been a, a unique experience, but it's it's all focused on player development yeah. and getting these players to the next level. So the results, as it, it might be frustrating maybe for the fans, um, it, I'm looking at the product on the field and we have played some really great games. Um, and I'm really pleased and I just see, uh, you know, this, the end of this year and the next year, you're going to see such growth that hopefully a lot of these players are breaking into the first team soon. Yeah, oh, we're already seeing that in, in many ways. Uh, I'll leave it at this, Jordan. You have Southern California ties, which is kind of rare on this club. It's starting to grow because of the academy, yeah. because of LAFC too. For someone who started in this part of the world and looking at development to where it's come, I mean, what are the things that you like look at and go, wow, that I can't believe we have that. It's it's really exciting and I think here at LAFC which I think is unique is not only are players uh, afforded uh, you know a professional environment with a salary they're also afforded uh, for the majority of them an education here at Cal State LA so it's kind of all-encompassing and it's a pathway that I only dreamed of having going through as, as a youth player in club soccer playing for Irvine Strikers um, and then either uh, having the opportunity to go pro or going to college, whereas now you have what I feel like is the best of both worlds. You can get an education while also being in a professional environment that, I mean, it's, I feel like second to none. You looked around, you're like, look where we are. <laughs> I feel like it's second to none, yeah. Well, you're doing a great job. Make sure you go out and check out uh, LAFC 2 game down there in Fullerton when they're playing at home. Some really important work with the development of these kids. I've been here, Jordan. You can see the difference uh, and how they handle themselves professionally. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing, and you're doing a... They're in very good hands, I'll put it that way. I want to see more of you. I don't know why we haven't seen you. <laughs> we're gonna, so we're gonna have a cup of coffee or yeah. something because it's been a time, but we gotta we gotta reconnect a little bit. Good to see you, Jordan.